What's going on everybody? Marcus, your GM here at Legends Anonymous. I uh, wanted to come back with a, a quick pro tip video. Um, I'm responding to a thread that Serene had posted on the forums this morning, and I thought the thread was absolutely brilliant. I, uh, Serene basically talked about uh, how to use LFR as a tool. Now, anybody that's known me for a while knows that I think LFR is the best tool in the business for actually getting out there and practicing things. Like if you're trying a new rotation, or you're trying out a weak aura, or if you want to engage in a certain mechanic that you're having trouble with, LFR is a great tool. Now, obviously, like Serene said, LFR isn't the same exact feel as what we're going to do. You can't coordinate, you can't tell the group, hey, I'm gonna do X mechanic, and they're probably not gonna follow mechanics properly. But it all boils down into what we're doing here. It boils down to, okay, are you going to football practice? Okay, LFR is football practice. Um, as all of you know, I was a former amateur uh, mixed martial artist. Now, hitting the training dummy for me was like hitting the heavy bag. Yes, it kind of helped me out with, you know, my striking and things of that nature. But my real test was when I got into a sparring session, which I usually did once a week. And I actually went out and tested myself against an opponent that wasn't trying to kill me, but that opponent was hitting me back and was doing similar things that a real boss would do. I think a lot of players think that, oh, I'll just work out my kinks in the raid. I'll just go ahead and if I want to try something new, I'll do it in the raid this week. Um, I don't think that's the best place to do it because you'll be more focused on that than what, what the actual boss mechanics are and you'll end up dying anyways. So when you are looking at the kill videos and you're practicing your new tools, the guidelines that I think should be followed are, one, go into LFR on the tune that you're actually trying to practice with. So if you're working on, you know, I was I was on my shaman and I was in LFR and I was working on a new uh, lava burst with a, an unleashed uh, fury rotation. I said, okay, let me try using this. Let me try using this rotation uh, because I felt that, okay, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it where I'm not going to harm the raid or I'm going to test it out where it's not going to affect anybody but me and some random people in LFR. So do everything you can to make it as real as possible. There are several fights out there that, like Tyrant Vilhari, for instance, is exactly the same in LFR as it is in Normal and Heroic, the exact same mechanics. Why not go in there and see if you can up your DPS a little bit more? Because you won't be hurting the raid uh, by trying something new. You'll just be in an LFR that doesn't really matter. So if you're looking to really, really up your DPS or up your own mechanics, go in there and, and run through it again. A and try not to cheese it. You know, a lot of us go into LFR just to just to get through it. But I, I still think it's a valuable tool. And I completely agree with Serene that... You're able to identify things easier in an atmosphere where there's there's less pressure. Um, and Serene made a great point about how he uh, was picked to identify the visions of death mechanic, and he didn't know what that mechanic was, even though he had already watched the Fat Boss Guide. Um, and that's goes that goes hand in hand with my how to watch and interpret a kill video. You may be called upon to do that mechanic, and if you don't know what it is. We can't explain it to you on the fly because you're not going to pick it up right away. It takes practice to pick up the visions of time mechanic. So why not go in there and at least practice it and go, okay, let me, Marcus may, I, I may call, now this is this is a fact, I may call on anybody to do visions of time. I might do it randomly just to see if you know what you're doing in the raid. So it's it's best to know these certain things. On Archimond, we're going to have a mechanic that requires a Twisting Nether team to go into the Twisting Nether and DPS ads. I can't rely on the same people to do it every single time. That's just impossible. So just, just amazing things coming out of this talent development. A lot of new ideas. And I think the best idea is using that LFR as a tool. And I really can't wait for Archimond LFR to come out because I really want everyone to go in there and, and get a good feel for the fight. Get a good feel for the pacing. Get a good feel of what things look like, how things are going to feel. Is it the exact same as heroic and normal? No, absolutely not. But I'll take somebody that's done on LFR Archimond and has really studied it over somebody that has just watched the video. Um, that's pretty much it for my pro tip thoughts. I've got to get ready for work. I will see you guys tonight. Thank you very much.